Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Absolute Carnage Avengers, issue number one. I'm going to tell you five things about this book, mostly negative, after I tell you about who made the book. Sorry. Okay, so we have got on writing Leah Williams and Zach Thompson. Zach Thompson is also the guy doing the script. Alberto Albuquerque and Gui Villanova are the artists. Uh, Rachel Rosenberg is the color artist. VCs Corey Petit on letters. Cover art. Clayton Crane. I gotta say, that cover looks an awful lot like a John Romita Jr. to me. Uh, variant cover artists are Gerardo Sandoval and David Keith doing the Codex cover, and Jonggan Yoon doing the other variant cover. Stanley and Jack Kirby create the Avengers. So, let's talk about number one on this list. Well, it started off good. <laughs> That's just about it. Um, yeah, man, this, I don't know. It started off kind of fun. There was there were a couple of cool moments in here. Cap's fighting against something and then like punches a, the head right off of a symbiote. The, the dude himself just gets cracked in the nose, but like the symbiote just goes flying. It's like you know the, the head of the symbiote starts moving forward. It's it's, it's weird. And uh, Spider Man shows up and helps out Cap. He's like nobody punches that beautiful jawline. <laughs> it's like okay, this is this is kind of you know kind of cool. I like it. I like it problem is that the story keeps on going like the problem is that I turned the page let's talk about number two on this list this story re-explains the story yeah this is a one shot okay an Avengers one shot an absolute carnage event one shot so let's get this straight I don't care how much you love the Avengers if you don't know what's going on with the um, uh, absolute carnage event you probably aren't going to get this book because you know that it's going to tie into the story and it's going to really have nothing to do with the main story of the Avengers. It's probably not going to do anything. You might ask, oh, is there a first appearance in here? That's about it, right? Worst case scenario, if you are going to buy this book, even though you're not interested in the Absolute Carnage series, you're going to read this because that's going to give you the recap. And that's three paragraphs in case, you know, your math is bad somehow. That's three paragraphs worth of, hey, this is the stuff that went on in the book. Let me turn the page a little bit and show you that we get until here several pages into the book. Several pages into the book. That's six, seven pages of, of re-explaining the story as it's happened so far in the event of Absolute Carnage. And these knuckleheads decide that they need to recap the story when there's already a story recap, three paragraphs worth of it on the first page. I'm sorry, who writes this crap? Who writes this crap? I, I, I can't be nice about this, dude. Like, this was just silly. There's already a recap page. You don't need to start retelling the story in the book itself, man. Let's talk about number three on this list. Um, epic moral event with lazy heroes. Bruh, when you read... All. I'm talking, even the ones that I've said, you know, I'm not really a huge fan of this, that, and the other thing, whatever, and these books or these tie in books, whatever. Out of all of the absolute carnage events that are going on right now, all the tie ins and the ancillaries, all of them, they're all very action packed. There's something happening in these books. In this issue, even though there's some action, the book just manages to be so damn boring. I'm falling asleep reading this book. I, I flip through pages just seeing the recap. Like, and this book, man, it's like some heroes don't actually catch up. Like, what's Hawkeye doing in this book? He, he's nowhere to be found. He's in the other end of the freaking country. Like, what the hell is happening here? And it's just kind of, the story is just kind of left there. For what purpose? Dude, let's talk about number four in this book. Uh, the heroes leave a symbiote with civilians. Yeah, so it's bad enough that they're not fighting carnage, they're not fighting anybody of import, they're just regular old people who have a carnage symbiote, a very, you know, weak one, thrown on them real quick, and they gotta punch some carnage, carnage symbiotes in the face, right? So they're already weak to begin with. Tell me how you don't get any major bad guys in this, just these knuckleheads wearing their summer clothes or wearing their whatever polo shirt they're wearing, wearing the little name tags because they were at work when this happened. You know what I'm saying? 
But then they go and take one, uh, just one of them. I don't know why. They take just one of these guys and they, all four of them, they bring it to a hospital like, oh, run it through ultrasounds and other things that are going to make noise and that'll make the symbiote come right off it and this guy will be safe. And then what happens when the symbiote starts trying to take over somebody else? What happens if this guy wakes up before they get the symbiote upstairs to where the ultrasounds and all that stuff are? And you literally just, like, we're talking Ben Grimm, Wolverine, Spider-Man, Captain America. These guys left a dangerous being with civilians. Have you ever written a comic book before? The problem is I know you have and somehow you're still allowed to with a dumb freaking comic book like this, man. This was painful. This was painful. I'm not even at number five yet. Let's just do number five. This book was boring as hell. This is the worst. You couldn't, don't, don't tell me there's going to be a worse issue in this event. Okay, don't tell me that. Absolute carnage, Avengers, one shot, an absolutely piss poor, terrible book that does not belong on the market. Nothing happened. There was no reason for this book to exist. Th this was completely and entirely pointless. Why? Why did you do such a thing? Why would you actually go and make something like this? This is the kind of book that makes me say, you know what? Maybe I start need to start reading my comic books at the comic book store to determine if I actually want to buy them first. You know? Dude, this would this is like buying a lemon. There should be lemon laws where I can return this. Because wow, man. Wow. This was terrible. Nothing, nothing good about this book. I'm out. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.